How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? And welcome to the show we've all been waiting for ever since spy families started getting real uncool with their copyrights. That's right, today we're talking about Buddy Daddies, the direct competition of spy family nobody expected. But you know, we're not just gonna go in expecting this to be gay spy family, all right? We're gonna judge this guy on its own merits. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hmm. Terribly sorry, but there's been a slight change of plans. Hmm, I've decided instead of being your driver, I'm going to murder you. Who are you two working for? Ah, oh, come on. You know perfectly well there's no way I'm gonna tell you that. Yeah, also, usually the guy with the gun pointed at his head isn't the one doing the interrogation. Uh-oh. My friend here has a low tolerance for bullshit. Better start talking while you still can. Oh my god, is that Larry from Pokemon Scarlet? You can't have both of the buddy daddies be the hot one. What, are you trying to run a monopoly on fan art? I'm afraid Meaty has a fever. Could you please come pick her up? Sure, on my way. Thanks. <sighs> hey, buddy. Oh, the titular buddy daddy. Can we go pick her up now? Just get in. Hold on, Meaty. Your daddies are on the way. This is everything I wanted it to be and more. This is about to become my new Skate the Infinity. <laughs> I like how this is the first thing we see after the intro. As if the show has to be like, they're buddy daddies. Right, but secretly they're like, just buddy daddies. <laughs> You just slept with this girl, dude. I don't think you still have to sneak a peek. Call me old-fashioned, but I think you moved past that phase after you stuck your penis inside of her. It's cold. So, I made dinner for you and left it in the fridge. She didn't eat it. Was there a problem? It was cold. Damn, this dude hates cold. Well, I picked up some Mentaiko that looks pretty good. More than happy to share it with you if you want. Can't do spicy. Damn, this dude hates temperature! <laughs> This dude looks like Mia from Skate the Infinity grew up and then his weird fursona became an actual cat. Like if this man and this cat fused, they would literally turn into Mia. There's a whole lot more to having a pet than just feeding it. You have to bathe it, clean up after it, keep an eye on its health. Uh. Grab it by the neck, lift it in the air, shake it. Having a pet's a huge responsibility. Do you feel that? It means I'm ready to meet Papa. Oh my god, insanely dark backstory. What? What happened to his pregnant wife? That was a wild thing to cut to. Hey, how's it going, cute? Here's the data I lifted. How quickly can you make me a hotel ID? I'll have it ready for you by tomorrow morning, yeah? Perfect. Yeah, man, you can get that ready whenever you like. You can do whatever you want as long as you keep growling in my ear like that. Carol, Dorothy, how you doing? Oh, please make these two recurring characters. Well, I was just here the other day. Oh, come on! <laughs> please join us. We can have some extra special Christmas fun. Please make her the protagonist. Carol and Dorothy? More like, can I have some more, please? What's her email? I just want to talk. I just want to talk, that's all. I'm a big fan of her work. I just want to meet her. I just want to send her some money. Also, are these prostitutes? Here we go, here comes the ultimate test for this show. If this girl isn't adorable, this show flops. This show isn't just competing with Spy Family, this girl is competing with Anya. Hmm. Excuse me. Yes? State your business. I am so on board with this Santa heist. Actually, the worst security guards. What are you, patrolling the ceiling? This girl just sprinted down the hallway in tap shoes and you both missed it? That cake looks so good! Uh? I bet it's super duper yummy for sure! Mm, you wanna try it? Not if it's murder cake! Please don't poison this little girl. I'm nearly certain she isn't your target. She loves it. What? I'm so wow. happy. My hard work is actually being appreciated for once.
this show is like Spy Family, but if instead of Anya being the main cute one, it was your. What was it? My name's Meaty, and I wished really, really hard to meet my papa. <sighs> I'm ready to meet papa. I'm gonna issue a rule right now before we get too far into this show. Buddy Daddies is not allowed to make me cry. I think that's a fair rule. I think that's a pretty reasonable request from a show called Buddy Daddies. Now that, that rule's been established and we've all agreed to its terms, let's proceed with the show. Mm -hmm. I've never ever seen him before in my whole life and my mama told me I could find him here. So can I? I want to meet him really bad. Oh my God, is her dad gonna be their target? Cause, cause that would be dark as hell. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> My dear Meaty, Santa will do everything in his power to make that wish of yours come true. Really? Yo, this dude is a natural buddy daddy. Also, can I please hear somebody use his goddamn name so I don't have to keep calling him the buddy daddy? I'm pretty sure nobody has mentioned this guy's name yet. <laughs> I love how all these new slice of life anime with some action in them know that the action still has to be good. Spy Family, Licorice Recoil, this, like they all have sweet action and they absolutely do not need to. Also, is this guy voiced by Gara? Am I about to watch Gara of the Hidden Sand Village raise a four year old? Hey mister, <laughs> my name's Meaty, are you my papa? Wait, is that? <laughs> oh my god, somebody help this girl! Damn. Now what do we do? Got a clear shot through the kid. Somebody else! <laughs> Look, I know this is a fancy dinner and all, but we probably could have cut some costs by not investing in the bulletproof serving trays. Hi, Santa! I'm not Santa! I'm your papa! Wow, in just one sentence, you have completely fucked this kid up for life. In one fell swoop, you have told this girl that Santa isn't real, and you, a stranger, are her father. <laughs> oh yeah, also, she just saw you guys kill a dozen men. Getting out of here. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yo, don't think I didn't notice Ray all double-cheeked up over here in those suit pants. Don't even think for a second that I would miss that. I don't even know whose kid this really is. <laughs> oh my god, wait, it's actually the target's kid. Dude, if there's ever a time skip where the daughter grows up to be old enough to understand that information, that is going to make for the darkest arc. Brief episode transition. If you guys like what you're seeing here and you want to get more content not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon. There you get access to exclusive reaction videos. Right now, I just actually finished up uh, reacting to the first season of Food Wars, and I'm still deciding what I want to do after that. Either Food Wars season two, or maybe I'll start a new one. I don't know. But let me know in the comments what you'd subscribe to Patreon to see me react to. On top of that, you also get access to my exclusive Discord server and access to all the recordings of my past live streams and the live streams I'll do in the future. But if Patreon's not really your thing and you still want extra content from me, I've got a second channel called Honestly Brutal, where I put up video game and analysis videos that are still funny, but aren't reactions, so they belong in a separate channel. I also have a podcast called Otaku's Anonymous, where me and NC Hammer 23 talk about anime stuff, and sometimes we don't. The links to my Patreon and both of those channels will be in the description below. God, I got too many things to plug now. I gotta find a way to streamline this. But now, on to the next one. way too damn early for whatever this shit is. Oh, hey, wise guy! Maybe don't greet your new four-year-old daughter with your hand on your cock. Oh my god, he's so bad! <laughs> Take your hand out of your pants! <sighs> that looks fun! I want a big song! Yeah, I don't think so. Aww. It's too high for you to reach anyway. Might I introduce you to a wonderful new invention, my friend, that I call the stool. This fancy doodad will give you the strength and agility of Atlas himself, allowing you to reach staggering heights humanity previously thought impossible. Your Unky Ray over there's got a ton of games. I'm sure it'd be fun to hang out with him for a while. Whoa, no way! You got Mario Kart or what? No. Hey, don't act like you're above playing Mario Kart, all right? I saw you playing Final Fantasy Tactics earlier. Hey, watch where you go. <laughs> 
No chance this dude owns more than three games on his PS5. The PS5 has like 10 games in total on it. You tell me Ray bought out the whole GameStop? Hold it. Huh? Before you eat, you say thank you for the food. You know that, don't you, Ray? I like that Ray and this four-year-old are arcing along the same path. Speaking of, the girls saw what we do, right? She was sort of in the middle of a gunfight, yeah. What's our next move? I don't know, probably therapy. Hmm. It doesn't say. Hey. Hmm. Hmm? Oh my god, so rude. If you're gonna have a cigarette, at least offer her one. Still working with basically nothing here. And I doubt I'll be able to find much in a mafia love child. <laughs> hey, hands off! Oh, there's your problem. You're searching on Yahoo News. What are you doing? Use Google, coward. I'm not excited about it, but I might go check in with Q. I'm coming with you. You stay here and make sure she doesn't get into trouble. Listen, this show's little girl may not be cuter than Anya, but Ray certainly is. I want to see what you're doing! <laughs> Are you okay? That was hot! You burned? <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh my god, she's a Targaryen! Oh wow, it's unusual to see you out of the house, Ray. Well, I can't play my games there right now. This is not a show about two men taking care of a child. This is a show about a man taking care of two children. Ray is pouting right now because he got his video game privileges taken away. Uh, hang on! Oh no, where'd she go? Are you in here? Dad's gonna have to find me! Uh-oh, where'd she go? Where are you hiding? You under here? Where'd she go? I can't- I can't find her! She's playing hide-and-seek. We see you. <laughs> you got me! Okay, I'll be it this time. You guys go hide! Bang, bang! Hold on! Oh my god! That's a real gun! We don't store it loaded. Not the point! <laughs> That's right! I'm impressed that you can tell! I used grade A ground beef with a pinch of nutmeg to bring out that juicy flavor! Yeah, whatever, nerd. Just make it look like a dinosaur. Alright, damn, right? Fuck it up! Dude looks ready to hit the ski slopes and then bang your wife! Great, what's the plan here? Chill out, I got it handled. Yeah, and you can have as much as you want. How are you guys the best and worst dads at the same time? What did I tell you, man? That you keep her quiet for a good long while. It's like you're leaving a treat for your dog to find while you sneak out. It's like you're giving your child early onset diabetes. But unfortunately for him, we'll be waiting there. When he pops out, we do the deed. A nice and clean, under the radar hit. Why am I listening to Sonic the Hedgehog try and make murder sound adorable right now? All we have to do is pull the trigger and widow that guy's wife. Piece of cake. Sorry, bad joke. Yeah, good work. Better make sure he doesn't have any guns in his hair. Um, yeah, where'd he go? <laughs> Why are you over here, Papa? Playing hide and seek? <laughs> this girl's talking crazy. I've never met her in my life. What are you kidding me? You think I know this chick? I've never seen this broad in my life. Don't move an inch from that spot. Uh, let's go. Uh, you're freaking kidding me. Hold it. <laughs> Hot take. This kid is way worse than Anya. This kid comes nowhere close to being as good as Anya does. Anya's at least smart enough to think her way out of situations and like have her own plot lines. This chick couldn't get a higher SAT score than a cabbage. Than a goddamn cabbage. Like when there's an episode of Anya going to school and she's the only main character in it, I'm like still engaged. I'm excited to see that. So far at least, I don't think there's ever gonna be a point where I wanna see an episode exclusively comprised of this little girl. Damn it! Let's go around the back way! I like how in the event of a fire, the whole building sprinkler system goes off, except for in this guy's bedroom. Whoever designed this house wanted this guy dead. Why is his gun's barrel thicker than a football? What are you sniping with, a t-shirt cannon? Attention passengers, it's time for takeoff! I think this image perfectly encapsulates the energy of this show. Sorry, didn't mean to. Plus, you could have gotten yourself killed. Don't scare me like that again. You understand? 
Okay, Papa, I won't. Do you understand the words he's saying to you? How sentient are you? And that is episodes one and two of Buddy Daddies. So far, like, way better than I expected it to be. Like, for real, I was definitely in the camp that was like, ugh, what is this, like, Spy Family ripoff? The animation isn't, like, as good as Spy Family, but, like, it's tough to beat Wit Studios. But it's not, like, bad. It's definitely, like, above average animation, I would say. It's, like, teetering between average and above average. Voice acting's great. I really enjoy the voice acting. The characters are super fun immediately. And so far, the plot's been like pretty fun and entertaining. I really like the the like teases of like a darker backstory that they keep giving us for uh what's his name? Kazuki's character. That's fun. That's some like almost hard hitting shit, hopefully. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this show so far. Are you enjoying it? Are you unfairly comparing it to Spy Family? If so, how does it match up in your eyes? And I will see you guys next time.